Hey guys, it's Sean over at SD3D, and today I wanted to go over how to design your part so that it's optimized for 3D printing. Along with the various complications involved with 3D printing, the first step in making sure you fabricate a clean print is to make sure that it was designed with additive manufacturing in mind. Angles Since FDM 3D printing melts plastic onto a print bed layer by layer, any extreme angles will require support material. This support material can be thought of as scaffolding that will break off and be cleaned up post print. Each material has its own angle that will require support material, but it is safe to assume anything with an angle more extreme than 45 degrees will need it. Limiting the amount of these overhangs will limit the amount of scarring as well as limit the amount of post print cleanup. This brings me to my next tip, starting with a flat build surface. Starting with a flat surface not only allows for good bed adhesion, but will drastically improve the print quality. Now let's imagine you design a very detailed sphere. The surface area of the sphere that will be touching the printer build plate is infinitely small, meaning that the first layer will only be a dot as thick as determined in the printer settings. This means that there will be support material required very close to the build plate and will ultimately lead to a poor surface quality on the underside of the print. Model errors. 3D models can often look great to the naked eye, but they will not print properly at all. This is because they were either combined incorrectly, exported improperly, or had some other issue that cannot be explained. You can determine if your model has errors by either downloading software such as NetFab or running it through NetFab's model correction tool online. If these corrections are not fixed, we will not be able to print your part. Here at SD3D, we use three different nozzle diameters for our prints. 0.6 millimeters for draft resolution, 0.4 millimeters for standard and fine resolution, and 0.25 millimeters for our ultra HD resolution. Now, depending on what resolution and nozzle diameter we use for your prints, will determine the clearances and tolerances involved. This means that any detail or wall that is thinner than the nozzle diameter will not print. If your model has walls that are 0.3 millimeters thick, but you order draft qualities, those 0.3 millimeter thick walls will not be noticed by our 0.6 millimeter nozzle and therefore will not print. The same is true for logos and text that are on any print. Anything in the XY direction requires a thickness of at least the nozzle diameter. This leads into adding a clearance for parts that mate together. Since 3D printing is additive, it tends to err on the side of more material than less material. We describe this tolerance as one half the diameter of the nozzle. This is very crucial to factor into your part before submitting for printing because there will be no way for our team to recognize this until after your parts are printed. Then you will be left with a lot of sanding to do in order for the parts to mate. Build volume. While this is continually getting larger, 3D printing, especially the machines we use here in-house, are limited in their build volume. Our main production machines have a build volume of roughly 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches but we do have a couple specialty printers that can get up to 15 inches in all directions. We are able to print parts larger than this as long as they can be sectioned up and plastic welded together after printing. We can then bondo and spray paint the parts to make it look as though as one unit, but it will have an added cost and not be as mechanically strong or accurate as a part printed in one piece. So while these steps may seem complicated at first, I promise that over time they will become more intuitive with each 3D model you design. Plus, as printer advancements continue, these limitations will decrease over time. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe for more 3D printing tips and tutorials.